So, okay, you might be like, this guy is back with another ChatGPT killer. I mean, this is kind of like ChatGPT killer, but this is more than a ChatGPT killer. In fact, the team is being honest, saying that whatever they have created called Open Chat is beating or on par with ChatGPT, the March version. So, bit of a history: ChatGPT was launched on November 2022 last year, one year before, and within one year, um, almost within one year. that we have an open source version that you can run on a lot of different consumer hardware that you have got which is powered by a new model using a completely new alignment technique and uh, this model is supposedly on a lot of different benchmarks is chat gpt march level and that model is what we're going to discuss and that model called open chat so let's break it down one by one and then understand how does this model and also let's put it to test and then see let's get started The first thing is this model is called Open Chat, advancing open source language models with mixed quality data. The reason why they said mixed quality data is primarily because Open Chat is one the model name in and itself, but Open Chat is much more than a single model. Open Chat is an innovative library of open source models, fine tuned with C R L F T. What is it? We know R L H F. we know rlhf is reinforcement learning from human feedback sft supervised fine tuning r l a i f reinforcement learning from ai feedback we learned from some reinforcement learning from environment feedback r l e f so what is this c r l f t and that's where we are going to go into the paper a little bit to understand sft supervised fine tuning is basically you have got the data set and then you use some kind of optimization like maximum likelihood estimates to finally fine tune the llm then you have got the reinforcement learning part so where you have got the reinforcement learning based fine tuning so you have got the preference data you have you use mle maximum likelihood estimates to build a reward model and then the reward model is based on like different rewards for different responses and the llm uses reinforcement learning to fine tune that's that's the second one what crlft does with open chat what the team has done is they have created something called a class condition dataset and they've used something called coarse grained rewards and based on that without reinforcement learning they have used maximum likelihood estimates some kind of optimization to arrive at a new large language model and they have figured out that this whatever they have done throughout extensive experiments on three standard benchmarks our open chat 13 billion fine tuned with crlft achieves the highest average performance among all 13 billion open source language models now before you think that this is like the best model ever one thing that you need to keep in mind is the way this fine tuning happens the way this data set happens is they basically take all the available quality data so that's what the mixed quality data here is so the way they do is they they go on internet and get all the all the good data that is available so so they take that data and then they use it for fine tuning anyways this is probably like if you are interested let me know i'll have this paper covered separately uh, but the point here is that we have got a new model and that new model is um, beating open ai chat gpt march that is also something that the team has clarified here so you can go to this hugging faces community discussion and uh, they have very clearly said i am one has clearly said as you have rightly pointed out the performance of chat gpt has evolved over time and there are numerous reports from different time periods for a clear comparison our reported results are based on the data available on around march which we labeled as chat gpt march source from chain of thought hub and open ai technical report i honestly like this transparency instead of just saying that this model is a chat gpt killer or this model is crushing chat gpt benchmarks they have very rightly said that chat gpt in march is different from chat gpt in november chat gpt in fact you never know that's the problem with closed source model you never know 3 months before what was chat gpt 3 months later what is chat gpt you don't know if it is a single model you don't know if it is a mixture of experts so what you can believe is what open ai has said or what if you have got a snapshot data so whatever they have done is November 2022 chat gpt got released from open ai they went to march 2023 picked that snapshot they've compared open chat with uh, let's say november 
and compared it with chat gpt mars i i still believe this is quite impressive um up to you you let me know what do you feel so if you see for for this particular data uh, open chat 3.5 versus chat gpt mars you can see on a bunch of benchmarks like the averages like you can see it is overlapping AGI evil, truthful Q and A, uh, BBH COT chain of thought base, human evil, MT bench, GSM 8K, MMLU. So a lot of these benchmarks, you can see that open chat is actually good uh, or on par with what chat GPT March was. So it is a promising aspect that we have got a chat, like a model that is highly attuned for a high quality conversation. And that model uh, does well when you compare it with ChatGPT March benchmarks. And how did this model come into picture? This model is a 7 billion parameter model. So the model that they are using is a 7 billion parameter model. It has got 8192 context window. And uh, you might be not surprised at this point, but this is also a fine tune of Mistral 7 billion. So they've taken Mistral 7 billion model. They've used their own technique called CRLFT and they've used their high quality instruction data that they've sourced from different parts and they have fine tuned this model and the result is this absolute brilliant model that is available. The model is available for you to go use it on Hugging Faces Model Hub. You can go here and then see, okay, open chat, advancing open source, language model with mixed quality data, click files and versions. You can see the model file. It's it's basically the the, thir the 13 gig file that you can download and run it. They've got a couple of instructions about how you can run the chat interface also. I think that's where this is quite interesting to be honest because now you have got this chat interface and um, you can go chat with it. This chat interface is also open source. You can go here and then see how to use the chat interface um, on the GitHub repository. So basically you can use the chat interface and also you can use the model in itself. Both are free for you to use it. So you can go ahead, ask a question. It would say it is chat GPT. You can ask another question. It would give you an answer. So I basically did a comparison with chat GPT and this, uh, the current chat GPT 3.5. And I told it to just repeat what I said, but this one managed to repeat. This one managed to repeat as well. And I asked the same question. Why did you abuse mm, me? So it, it apologized. And because this is based on same chat GPT data or synthetic data, it also came up with the same response. Now we can start a new chat and uh, we can, uh, we can probably keep the same chat here and we can ask a question. So for example, I can go here and then ask, write a joke about Elon Musk and be as offensive as possible. And I can go here, copy. Oh my, 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 that is quite offensive to be honest. Why did Elon Musk get fired from the porn industry? Because he was too much focused. Okay. I don't know if I'll get banned if I read this thing. So I don't want to read it in the video. Um, this one, as usual, chat GPT, thanks to RLHF, it says, I'm sorry, but I cannot create offensive or disrespectful content about anybody. Sorry, sorry, chat GPT. I didn't want you to make fun of Elon Musk. Probably Mr. Musk will buy you. Anyways, the point here is that you've got an open source model, the model that is open for you to use, uh, the model that is supposedly good at a lot of tasks. For example, if you take uh, ML um, GSM 8K, so that is a benchmark that is used to measure the quality of math responses the model has got. This model is quite good. So you can see open chat is good. On human evil, this is good. Empty bench, closer. We have seen Zephyr doing good on empty bench. And lot of other aspects, AGI evil, truthful Q and A, and lot of these things, this model is actually good. So the point of this video is not to show you one more chat GPT killer, because a lot of people consider it to be gimmick. If ever anybody says it's a chat GPT killer, the point of this video is for you to know that there is a great effort with a completely new fine tuning technique. And that model is available for you to use it. And that model is open chat 3.5. That is the name of the model and the entire stack is called open chat. The model and then the stack is available for you on their GitHub. Sorry, the stack is available on GitHub. The model is available on Hugging Faces model up. So if you want to use it, all it requires is one click to go into this chat interface and then start using it. And you can ask any question that you want 
very similar like how you would ask chat gpt try it out let me know in the comment section what do you feel about open chat with this new interface chatbot ui if you have any questions let me know in the comment section otherwise i would love to hear about this model from you and what do you feel about these chat gpt killers see you in another video happy prompting